Welcome, dear viewers, to another episode of Hidden Histories. Today, we embark on a journey through time, tracing the enigmatic footsteps of the Hebrews, a people whose legacy echoes across millennia. Our adventure begins with the Rosetta Stone, an archaeological marvel discovered during Napoleon Bonaparte's campaign in Egypt in 1799. This stone fragment contains a decree about King Ptolemy V, inscribed in three scripts, hieroglyphs, demotic, daily script, and ancient Greek. Thanks to the brilliant minds of Thomas Young and Jean-Francois Champollion, we cracked the hieroglyphic code, unlocking ancient Egyptian culture and history. The Rosetta Stone now resides in the British Museum, a testament to human curiosity and perseverance. Our next stop takes us to the Dead Sea Scrolls, a collection of Jewish manuscripts dating back to the 3rd century BC. Hidden in 11 caves near the Dead Sea, these scrolls reveal religious, historical, and legal texts. Imagine unrolling these fragile parchments, the ink still fresh after centuries, offering glimpses into Jewish life during a pivotal era. These scrolls connect us to the past, bridging the gap between ancient wisdom and our modern understanding. Now, let's discuss the book of Hebrews. This New Testament epistle compares Jesus to key figures from the Hebrew Bible. He surpasses angels, Moses, priests, and sacrifices. Jesus embodies hope for a new creation, serving as our eternal priest and the perfect sacrifice. As we explore Hebrews, we find echoes of the past, the giants of faith who endured hardships and persecution. Their stories inspire us to remain faithful, even when the shadows of doubt loom large. The Hebrews' identity is woven from threads of migration, cultural evolution, and pivotal moments. Their journey, from Mesopotamia to Egypt, the Exodus, and the Promised Land, shaped their destiny. We glimpse their struggles, resilience, and unwavering faith. And as we peer into the tapestry of their past, we discover not just a people but a profound legacy that reverberates through time. Our journey begins in the hallowed pages of the Torah, where the term ivory emerges. Derived from the root of R, meaning to traverse or to pass over, it signifies a wanderer, a soul crossing borders, both physical and metaphysical. Abraham, our patriarch, is called the ivory, the one who left Yor of the Chaldeans to seek a promised land. His footsteps echo through time, imprinting the very essence of Hebrew identity. The Mediterranean winds carry us westward, we encounter the Greek term Hebraeos. In the bustling agora of Alexandria, scholars debate. Is it a label for a people, a language, or a cultural current? The Hellenistic world grapples with this enigma. Philo of Alexandria, that sage of syncretism, bridges Hebrew thought with Greek philosophy. The Septuagint, the Greek translation of the Hebrew Bible, binds these worlds, leaving us with echoes of Hebraeos. Our path now leads to the heart of the Roman Empire. Here, the term morphs into Hebraeus. Cicero, that eloquent order, muses on the Hebrews. Are they a distinct gens, a people apart? Or are they merely a religious sect? The legions march, and the Hebrews persist, a resilient minority in a sea of togas. Their faith, their customs, their very existence, etched into the annals of Rome. Secrets of cuneiform tablets, trade routes, and city-states. Did the Hebrews emerge from these fertile plains? Yet, the Levant beckons, a land of sun-kissed shores, olive groves, and prophets. Archaeological breadcrumbs lead us to both realms. Mesopotamian clay seals bear witness to Hebrew names, while Levantine pottery fragments echo their songs. Perhaps they are both, the children of Euphrates and the offspring of Canaan. The Hebrews, their identity, like a tapestry, weaves threads of migration, faith, and resilience. They traverse borders, languages, and epochs. From the banks of the Tigris to the hills of Jerusalem, they carry their legacy. Ethnonym or adjective? Perhaps both, perhaps neither. Their story, written in ink, etched in stone, whispered in prayers, transcends labels. For in the dance of words, they pass over, leaving footprints on the sands of time. As the sun dips below the horizon, let us linger on the threshold of antiquity. Abraham, that wanderer of faith, strides across the pages of Genesis. His name, a whispered promise, echoes through generations. From Yor of the Chaldeans, he steps forth, guided by celestial whispers. Go forth, they say, to a land I will show you. And so, Abraham crosses the Euphrates, leaving behind the familiar, embracing the unknown. His covenant with the divine, a pact etched in stardust, sets the stage for the Hebrews' emergence. Now, let us ascend the mountains of Ararat, 
where the ark once found refuge. The flood waters receded, and Noah's descendants stepped onto the sacred soil. The very same peaks that cradled the ark, a vessel of salvation, now cradle the Hebrews' origin. East of the Euphrates, where snow meets sky, their story unfolds. The ark's time-worn timbers whisper secrets, their grain etched with memories of survival, hope, and covenant. And so, dear seekers, we stand at the crossroads of myth and history. Abraham's footsteps, the ark's silent witness, they converge, weaving a tapestry of destiny. Ethnonym or adjective? Perhaps both, perhaps neither. But one truth remains, the Hebrews' journey transcends borders, rivers, and epochs. As we ponder their enigma, may we, too, traverse the rivers of time, seeking meaning in the echoes of ages past. As the sun sets over the arid plains of Canaan, we follow the footsteps of Jacob, the patriarch whose name would echo through eternity. His life, a tapestry of blessings, deceptions, and divine encounters, culminates in a pivotal moment. The land groans under the weight of drought, its parched soil crying out for mercy. Jacob, later known as Israel, faces a choice, stay and wither or seek refuge beyond the horizon. And so, with twelve sons at his side, their names etched in the sands of fate, Jacob embarks on an exodus. Their caravan winds through the wilderness, each step a prayer for sustenance. The twelve tribes of Israel, born from Jacob's loins, carry the promise of a nation. Their destiny intertwines with the very fabric of existence. The Nile, the lifeblood of Egypt, welcomes Jacob's clan. Its fertile banks cradle their wearied bodies, offering respite from famine's grip. Pharaoh's court receives them, curious eyes studying these Semitic wanderers. The Hebrews settle, their tents dotting the delta. The scent of papyrus mingles with memories of Canaan's vineyards. Here, they find refuge, but also servitude, a double-edged gift from the Nile. Let us linger on the twelve tribes, the warp and weft of Hebrew existence. Reuben, the firstborn, carries the weight of expectations. Judah, the lion-hearted, shapes kingship's lineage. Levi, priestly and passionate, guards sacred fires. Each tribe, a constellation of dreams, bears its emblem, its story. From Gad's tents to Naphtali's swift feet, they form a mosaic of faith and resilience. Like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Amidst reeds and shifting sands, Moses encounters the burning bush. Its flames, an enigma, beckon him. Remove your sandals, whispers the divine presence. For this ground is holy. Moses, reluctant yet chosen, receives a commission, go, free my people. And so, the Hebrews saga takes a new turn. From the Nile's embrace to the wilderness trials, they march toward liberation, a journey etched in miracles and miracles yet to come. The Hebrews, their story transcends epics. They are more than a people, they are a testament to resilience. From famine to exodus, from servitude to Sinai's thunder, they forge an identity. Ethnonym or adjective? Perhaps both, perhaps neither. Their legacy, a symphony of faith, woven with threads of migration, echoes across millennia. And so, dear viewers, join us on this historical voyage. Unravel the ancient origins, the whispers of Jacob, the Nile's embrace, the burning bush. For in their journey, we find our own, a pilgrimage toward understanding, toward the heart of humanity. Until next time, keep seeking, keep questioning. May the Hebrews resilience guide us as we traverse the river of time.